Some people want to use numbing creams when they get tattooed. Is it safe? Is it good? Is it bad? What numbing creams or sprays do I recommend? I'm gonna tell you my point of view of this right now. Can you hear me? Hi there. I am Electric Linda. I've been a tattoo artist for 17 years. I know quite a lot about tattooing, running a tattoo shop, being tattooed, being a tattooed parent, and I really appreciate your questions that has been commented below. So in this video, I want to answer a question from one of you, which was, which numbing creams or sprays do you like or recommend? When I get tattooed, I think I am one of the worst clients that exist. I always have so much pain when I get tattooed. I don't know if it's because I'm kind of hypersensitive or something like that, but I do really hurt a lot when I get tattooed. And like you see, I'm almost covered with them because for me, it's like, it's worth it. Yes, it is so painful some places. Some places are okay, but I do feel like t being tattooed is one of the most painful things I have been through. And I have a daughter, I gave birth to her. And yes, that is more painful, but well, during the years I've been tattooed, I think it's become worse every time. I don't know if it's the age, am I more sensitive now than I, than I used to be when I was younger? I, I don't know. But I do know that some places just hurt so much more. I just need to have some numbing cream so that I know that I can go through with it and not need to tap out in the middle of it. So my thought around numbing creams is that those places that you know that is going to be one of the most painful places on your entire body and you know that you will have to like stick with it for at least a couple of hours then it can be worth having some numbing cream on before you start numbing creams are often they stop working after a few hours at least the ones that i have tried myself they worked well for two hours and then they started to fade out and uh, some even started to fade out before that because as soon as you start wiping and tattooing on an area that has been covered with numbing cream you kind of end the numbing process faster because you're activating the blood and you know the energy in that skin area so the numbing cream will actually stop working faster at the area that you're starting to tattoo. So what I recommend when using numbing creams is that it's an area no bigger than maybe this. You should never put more numbing cream than this big area because it's actually, it's not good for your body in general. Uh, in big scales, it can be really actually highly dangerous for some if you are sensitive. So please don't put on more than this kind of size area with numbing cream. But when you do put it on, put on a lot. It's like when you put, put you know, a face mask on with lots of clay or whatever, you know, put a lot of it on. Massage it in, put extra on top, wear plastic foil and wrap it tightly around this area so that no air gets in or out so that the ointment, the numbing cream, is kind of forced into the skin and has nowhere else to go. And what I've learned is that numbing creams work very well on soft body areas, like my belly. My belly is not tight and skinny and bony. <laughs> it's very soft. It's a soft area with skin and kind of meat, you know what I mean? So numbing cream will work very well on those soft, meatful places. Probably this area would be very good for numbing cream, but those thin areas where you have thin skin and close to the bone, it will not work. Hands, fingers, feet, knees, elbows, ribs, they will not work as well on those places as the more meatful, fleshy, places because the numbing cream needs that flesh to kind of soak into 
if you have thin skin like think about your on the top of your foot the skin is so much thinner so you have less flesh to hold on to for that numbing cream and let's talk about different numbing creams there are probably more numbing creams out there that i have ever heard of so uh just you have to kind of figure out which ones are better or worse you should get a numbing cream that is trusted by the tattoo artist so that they can say that they have used this before or they have you know some experience with this maybe they sell some numbing cream that you can buy my personal favorite is super numb i have used it for several years i think it's a good cream i put it on like one to two hours before getting tattooed and it will last for about two hours so if i would get tattooed for a bigger area than this i would actually try to divide it into pieces but that's just me i can't take many hours in a session but if you want to be more tattooed for like if you can take more hours than i do and you booked a big session you have a full day with a tattoo artist and this is a spot that you might want to have a uh, numbing cream ask the artist of course maybe they have some spray or some gel that they can put on during because i do that because what i do if a client books a full day and this is a painful session then i can ask i can prepare you with this and tell you that okay but we're going to start with this area so you can wrap this up in numbing cream and then we can go from there and we can kind of wrap up the next spot as we go we have to plan like step by step you know because we can also use sprays and we have gels i have used the hush uh, gel a bit i think that's very good actually it works kind of well if you are already tattooed the full area you have maybe kind of you can also just like water tattoo it you know you open the skin so that it's a big wound but you don't really tattoo it but you just open the skin with the machine and the needles so like it's a big wound and you can put the gel on or the spray which is even better actually the vasocaine spray i love that one it is really good spray but you need to put it on open skin it does not work on normal skin before tattooing so that's what i usually do i think i think in general you should be able to be tattooed without numbing creams because you can react on numbing creams some skin can actually become somewhat kind of like a sponge you know a spongy skin when you get the uh, numbing cream on so many artists are not very fan of the numbing cream so you should always ask your arms first because they can be very against it and they will not be happy if you put numbing cream before you come in without asking them first so do that but in my point of view numbing creams are awesome when it comes to smaller but more painful areas especially tummies they're perfect i have a list down below if you want to go and buy some of this uh, super numb i have a link down there what are your thoughts give it to me i mean write comment uh have you tried a numbing cream did it work uh what was it called can you name one that you liked help each other out here and come with names of super numbing creams that you uh, or numbing creams that you actually used and liked if you like this little video give me a thumbs up and i will know because i'm trying to figure out what kind of more videos you want me to make if you have any ideas or if you have questions that you want me to answer please comment and i will try to make lots more videos and i will try to answer your questions the best way i can i would really really be super happy if you subscribe to my channel or even shared one or two of my videos and uh, so I will see you next time. Bye-bye.